Hello. <clears throat> this is that BMX guy. This is going to be another B-log about things. It's going to be more hubs, so be ready for hubs. Yeah, I bought this Nexus 8-speed hub a long time ago. It was on a breezer. And I overhauled it and put it back together and everything. And laced it to this rim. Now, the reason why I never use it is because it's a 135 hub. And I was looking for like a full and bike frame or something to use with it over the years. But the full and bike that I have is it's technically basically the same as the RV. It's 110 on the back. When this is 135 and 110 to 135 is just too much of a difference um i did have a bike friday that was a single speed frame a while ago i bought it and used it for maybe one or two years and finally got rid of it but it would have been perfect for this but this hub is like i don't know about five or six pounds it's not very light. I guess what's cool is that there's a roller brake adapter if you want to use a roller brake. But yeah, I bought it and never used it. I leased it to the CR18 that I think was used a couple times on something else. But it's still pretty much all new. I was just going to get rid of it on eBay. Maybe someone will buy it. The shipping there is going to be ridiculous because of how heavy the hub is. <laughs> Um, but the main problem with it is that, yeah, it's a 135, right? The Sturmy, or not Sturmy Archer's late, the Sheldon Brown's late. So something about, you know, oh, you could just take some spacers out. But no. See, that's all the way against there, pretty much. And that's where the dropout is there. I had to bend the frame that far to get that to even work. And if you did take the spacers out on the side, it would make it so dished, it just wouldn't be a wheel worth even using. It would just keep breaking spokes on maybe this side all the time. And yeah, it, it's a cool hub and all. It has a nice close ratio with eight gears, but it just seemed like it was a waste of my time. Like lots of things. I bought this Alphine shifter for it because it came with like one of them stupid grip shifters. Yeah, I call them stupid, but I just, I'm not a fan of grip shifters. And the Alphine supposedly works. So I bought that with it. So I'm just going to sell it, you know, together with that. So yeah, that, that's that hub. So the, the reason I really went away from it is because I found AMs. Like, this is the 1 a.m. and it has a nice close ratio with just three gears. So what am I going to use eight gears for, you know? It's just, I just look at it as, like, this this a.m. is way more practical than having an eight-speed hub that I'm probably going to use in three of the gears. In. So, that's the main reason why I didn't use it. Other than it doesn't fit in any of my frames. And the Bike Friday, it would have definitely fit in, but the Bike Friday, what it would have done... Is make it so there's six pounds of weight on just the back end of the frame when the front of the frame weighs absolutely nothing i mean that's the that's the main reason why i didn't like the bike fry it was just too wacky and i just don't get how people like them um then i have the, the dynamo the nexus dynamo it kind of matches that hub um in this bag is like a sine wave it's not going to come with it but I might just get a different dynamo that's smaller or just more sophisticated. But the dynamo seemed like it worked okay. I mean, it rolls okay. It keeps rolling in the rain and everything else. Um, even though it didn't really ride in hard rain. But it never came loose. Didn't give me any problems. Um... It just seemed like it wasn't really charging the phone battery when the phone was connected directly to it. So I used a 
battery pack and trying to charge that with it. And it seems like you just, you have to keep going for like hours and hours for this even to do anything. And this has a smaller wheel. You figure it's spinning faster, it's getting more amps, but it just doesn't seem like it's really effective for that idea. Um, it is neat. But yeah, I'm probably not even going to hold on to that thing. But at least it matches that hub. So if I sold them both together, they're kind of like a upgrade kit for someone. But yeah, the, the hub, it fits on every BMX. I made it so it's centered. I, I guess it was supposed to be dished with the roller brake. Um, but I don't find the roller brake to be that good. So the, the V-brakes are still seemingly way better regardless. Yeah, so the Nexus 8-speed was a cool idea, but I'm probably not just going to get rid of it. Um, there's other hubs I have too, but like the, the Suzu hub... The Suzu Pro Max hub. It's a really nice hub. But when you have it with the skinny rim, it doesn't look anything like the Super Pro 48s. It, it kind of looks like, you know, this hub is gigantic. Like that hub looks gigantic. And it just doesn't look right. Um, the other main thing is like... I don't know. I just don't know what to do with it. I bought this hub right here, this other Suzu hub. This is an 80s hub. Like, it's maybe... There's a letter on there somewhere. Or maybe there ain't nothing. It's normally, like, letters to tell you how old it is. But I don't... I just know it's a Suzu hub that came on, like, a road bike. And it has a, a BMX axle in it instead. And... The main issue is like one of these sides, the bearing is loose, and that's what they were notorious for. Like the Super Pro hubs used to always have like one loose bearing after a while. And that's what this was. Yes, this is just like a B log on some hubs. Um Yeah, I was gonna make the AM a video of tearing it down, not just showing it off. I just don't know. If I really care to. That, I don't know. I could make a tear down video of the 8 speed here, but. This thing is very sophisticated. I took it apart a few times, put it back together. I re-greased this end thing and that was definitely a learning process getting that whole mechanism back together. But, yeah, the, the hub itself, it is heavy. Like, six pounds is really heavy for a bike wheel. And like, this guy is like three or two or something like that because of that dynamo. But, you know, what are you going to do? Anyway, this, this is that BMX guy or Carl. I'm at my house. Shaky shakies. Now, there's a studded tire behind these other tires. I'm hoping to use this winter. Like, it, it doesn't seem to snow in this New Jersey, Philly area. Especially after I bought that studded tire. And it has gotten on my nerves. So I'm hoping we get a lot of snow this winter. So I can put the studded tire on something. And maybe need to get another one. So I have two. I know some people say the studded tires are kind of a waste of time. But when I'm riding a rice and the studded tire's in the front, I definitely notice that the studded tire doesn't just sit there s sliding out. So, yeah, it's, it's just a matter of what kind of ice you're riding over and what kind of road you're riding over at the same time. Other thoughts? Yeah, I still got my Swift bag. And I put the Swift Bag's front rack, or Velo Orangi rack, 
on the black 125R. I still need a seat post though. And I kind of want to get the titanium seat post for this too, so I don't have to worry about the frame. You know, the titanium post, I trust more. Aluminum, I just trust that this crush. The, the other titanium post is definitely holding up really well in that other 125R frame, but this frame, I kind of want that to be the same. Um, <clears throat> the gearing is 42-14 on that guy. It has the same tires and wheels that the Speedwagon had. Same bars and forks. And it's going to be ready for next season. Now, I don't really want to ride it that soon, but the sooner I get a seat post, the better. The, the RV over here. Um, it hasn't really been in the city for the last few weeks, but maybe I'll use it for deliveries again. Lately, I've been laid off, so food delivery is the best I can do. Since, like, I can work whenever I really want to. Like, you know, I just wake up at 12 o'clock, go do some lunch deliveries, come back. Take a nap. At five or six o'clock, just go out and do dinner deliveries. Instead of like work, waking up for a job that some guy expects you to be like God's gift to earth and go over there from six o'clock in the morning just to three thirty in the afternoon. And then meet, maybe be even trapped somewhere because they make you sit in the work van with some other guy or something like that. It's the main reason why I don't like working. I mean, they're way better jobs out there than what I used to do and food delivery it may not seem that good it may not seem to pay that much but it it makes it so you can actually you know work when you want to like if you say oh that doesn't pay enough money you just don't take that job and you take something else it may not get you like you know any money like let's say you have loved ones that are complaining about you not making enough money for them because they want you to have millions of dollars a year so they can go on stupid vacations or they're spending thousands of dollars that they could just save up for a house or something. But, you know, if you're not thinking, like, you have to have that motto of traveling everywhere and just want to live, just want to live your day-to-day -day life, then food delivery is fine. Well, anyway, um, yeah, it was mainly just about the hubs and the, the Nexus hubs. That, and I'm just going to put on... The, eBay of all places. The AM is going to go on a bike. Um, probably the other 125R. But probably not anytime soon. That tire right there might have to go on the RV because this tire has a nice tear somewhere. I don't know if you can see it. Well, yeah, you can probably see it. But that tear right there it's like one layer. But there's a piece of cardboard that I put underneath it to help keep it from tearing worse and I don't know what caused that tear but this tire is still like new like it's not old it was the front tire that was on the other one the 125 R that you know the, the other 125 R <laughs> the road missile one not the touring bike that that's gonna be but yeah I don't know what tore it and that kind of aggravates me because these aren't cheap um, this bike in general has been doing fine as a fixed gear bike that wheel that I built a while ago will eventually go on here as soon as I decide to bend this back end out a little bit I just don't like the idea of it breaking the frame doing that that's all anyway this is that being nice guy and thanks for watching